How's it going everyone? Another quick video in 3ds Max. Um, today we're going to be using the Mental Race Sun. Um, it's a quick tutorial so we'll get stuck straight into it. Um, so I have a basic scene here, I've done nothing to it. My renderer is... When it loads, there you go. Mental Rate, so we're all good there. Let's go. Okay, so go over to um, these system gears here. Go to Daylight, click it once. Then you, what, what you want to do is click and you'll have these uh, compass pop up and st I'm still holding down the click you drag it out and then let go once and then instantly this will pop up and you can see that you can move it up or down whichever way you want depending on how, how high you want the sun don't know if you can hear that but there's a plane going by so it's perfect timing <laughs> um, so yeah once you've dragged that out you can just press click again and there you go, you have your sun in position. Um, for mental ray render, what you need to do is you need to go to select the sun itself, go to modify, and here you have daylight parameters. At the moment they're on standard, um, standard and skylight, what you need to do is change it to Mr. Sun, um, sort of mental ray, but I always call it Mr. Mr. Sun and Mr. Sky. Done. They're all set up now to render. Um, you have all your parameters down here. Most of them are fine. I, don't, I usually don't change them. Uh, one thing, say you want to move the position of the sun, um, you can do it manually. Um, like so. Or you can go on date, time, and location. Press setup. And here you have the hours of the day, you can see it going over, moving around, you have the month, so you can see it changes, so it, if you say you're working for a client or um, it needs to be 100% like accurate, um, you can use this way as well, or get a location, but I've never used that before, so this is what I know. Um, so yeah, quick tutorial, um, good luck with your rendering, and I'll see you soon.